Hi guys, this is Matt from Techno How, and today we're going to be taking a look at home theaters. Put together a little slide, and we're going to go through this, and my next upcoming videos are going to be on a Plex home media server, how to install and configure it, and then we're going to be also taking a look at a future video of VLC player and how you can um, rip a DVD into a server for your Plex server. So let's go ahead and get started with this week's video on home theater basics. So getting started, this is just kind of an example of a back of a home theater receiver. It's also known as an audio video receiver. Um, so right here you would have the HDMI out these would all be all your HDMI ins. This would be from your sources like a PlayStation or DVD player or a Roku, anything along that line. The HDMI out would go to your TV. Now when we come down here to the speakers, you can see it's labeled front, center, surround, and surround back. That's going to be for a 7.1 surround sound system. So your front pretty self-explanatory usually tower speakers or a bookshelf speaker on your right and left of your entertainment center then you have the center channel usually right directly below or above your video source like a TV or a projection screen and then your your regular surround sound is going to be a little above ear level kind of a little behind you but pointing inward towards your seating to come to a point just like your front channel is going to come to your point and we'll see later in a later slide on a good um, speaker positioning setup and then the other back surround sounds are going to be behind you once again you're going to want to go a little above your listening level of your ears then over here you have a subwoofer pre out that is going to go to your powered sub now we will eventually go into placement for powered sub if you want one, two, three, or four, and the best setup and how to optimize the sub in later videos coming up. But for now, like this receiver only has one pre out for the subwoofer, and you're going to want to place that first one up front, either in between your media center and your front speakers or on the outside of it, but you're going to want to keep it up front by your main speakers. And then, of course, you have some component video in for older legacy uh, video sources. Uh, video out if you don't go to HDMI. Audio one, audio two in. That could be for like an MP3 or a record player or c old CD player, whatever you might like. And then some also just um, legacy audio video cables. So we'll take a look at speaker placement. All right, front channel slash rear right and left spread out and toe them in so what I mean by this is you're gonna to want to spread them out as far as possible and then just kinda of tilt them in just a little bit so that they're kinda of pointing to the center of your seating and you don't want them directly pointing at the center of your seating because you don't want it to be exact you want that sweet spot to be a little bit wider if you can do it uh, center channel like I said below or above the TV Rear channel is to be on either side of you or behind you. Now, if you set, if it's a seven channel system, you're gonna have some beside you and some in the rear. Subs, place the sub where it sounds the best. Now, I did say put it up between the speakers and such, but there's also another thing behind it of doing the crawl test, where you place the sub where you sit and then you crawl around on the floor while listening to a song with a, quite a bit of bass and wherever it sounds best you mark it and then that's where you put your sub and then if you have two or more subs like I like to put one in the front one in the back depending on how they sound I have them kitty corner from each other and it actually evens out the sound and I can actually turn up the low frequencies a little bit higher because it's more difficult to determine where that's coming from now here's a quick little chart from Dolby I give them credit for this um, that's what I mean by toe in right here and then your left and right and then your rear and then sub I'd put up here maybe one back here if you're running two alright setup 
After wiring, room correction. If your receiver has room correction, you should do it. I like to take this on measurements before and after running the room correction, and I can show you guys some software in a later video on how to do room correction uh, if it doesn't have it with some different software that we can feed into the receiver and get back through a mic. Now this can correct even with bad acoustics of a room it can help with and levels of your sub and main channel and everything like that. Sound test. I um, use the SPL meter and test tones to make sure that all speakers are at the same level. Next, use a heavy bass song to adjust the volume of the sub. Kind of make it match. Make it hard to determine where the bass is coming from. You don't want it cranked up too high and overwork your sub. You want it to match the rest of your speakers. Um, so the software that I use is REW Room Equalizer Wizard to test the sub and other speakers for crossover settings. That is a great software. I will be doing a video on that. Next, wires. Do you really need the most expensive cables to have a nice home theater? The answer is absolutely not. A lot of people get into you need to buy the best of the best of the best cables and that's not always true. Um, speaker wire gauge does matter. You do want to use, I use uh, 12 gauge for main bigger speakers and 16 gauge for the smaller. HDMI um, you're going to want to use that for um, your video and your audio from the sources to the receiver to the TV and such. That is the true Dolby standard that everyone is using for digital sound is the HDMI. Sub cables, you can pick them up at your local store and you just pretty much run it from the output on the receiver that I showed you to the input of the sub. All right, and thank you for watching. If you guys have any questions, please list them below. Anything that you want to see on upcoming videos, please list it below. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thanks again for watching.